Hello, in this video, we will see how we can install a theme on our Hugo website. Here I will show you how to create a Hugo website and also after that how you can download a random theme and then you can install that theme on your Hugo website. So I randomly choose this theme which is called paper mode. Okay, and it is mentioning it's a fast, clean, responsive Hugo theme and it's very lightweight and this is lastly updated very recently and there is a demo if you click this link I'm going to open in a new tab and this is the demo of that theme there are a couple of modes are there on this light mode and this dark mode if we click this dark mode then it will look like this which is pretty nice looking and very clean so in this video you will see how you can install this theme on your existing Hugo website but I will show you from the beginning I will create a website and then we will install this theme now let's jump to this theme so this is a demo uh, link which you already saw and it is mentioning it's fast fluent is smooth and responsive and this is the demo and there are a couple of features of this theme it has so this has this many features and here it is showing three modes are there on its regular mode and its home info mode and its profile mode and so many other things like table of content active post so many things is and this is also SEO friendly and like light or dark theme it supports both and breadcrumb navigation and so many things so basically in uh, this is a perfect theme if you want to start your Hugo website and later you can uh, modify based on your own need and there is like frequent lux question and how to guide and how to install or update so here it is showing there is a wiki link uh, paper mode installation over there you can check their details and some other things and page speed see 100% really is so fast right and a special thanks and this is the uh, graph where people are downloading or installing or using this theme this is a uh, very nice graph and it is increasing continuously and this is uh, recent data and also there is some other information there so let's see how we can download that thing and install that thing so here uh, uh, this is the theme so if we click this download link uh, then download button basically it will open the download location from where we can download this theme so this is the actual theme hugo paper mode right so if we scroll down and it is showing documentation can be found this wikipedia right wikipedia link but how we can install it let's check so install update read wikipedia for more details so it is showing that read here you will find how to install it so during the installation time basically it is very helpful we will use this thing to install this thing so uh, it is mentioning step by step getting started follow quick start guide to uh, install hugo so at first we need to hugo install we need to install this uh, hugo software uh, i already showed you how to download that thing okay and it's mentioning like the version should be 0.112.4 greater than this version right or equal to now it is showing that you have to create a hugo site and then after that we can install it so this is the command to create a hugo site hugo new site and then the site name and and the format should be oiml format okay now let's uh, try to create that hugo site uh, and then we'll install the theme so at first i'm going to open visual studio code so here if we type visual studio code so here i'm saying visual studio code is there just click here and the visual studio code will be opened like this here now let's jump to the folder so i'm going to uh, access my computer this is my computer and i'm going to access this drive and here i installed hugo right already uh, now i'm going to create a, a folder basically new folder suppose the folder name is few steps so this will be our actually website right few steps so i just named it few steps now uh, just drag and drop on top of the visual studio code and it will open in here basically so few steps means basically that uh, folder is open in visual studio code 
Now, uh, if you don't know, how, if you cannot uh, drag and drop in this way, you can also uh, click this option like open folder and then you can link that folder. So the Visual Studio Code will link your project. Uh, I mean, in this Visual Studio Code uh, to your folder location, uh, it will be linked properly. So this page I don't need. So I'm going to close this thing. Welcome. So here it is there. So now we have to click here. So the terminal window will open uh, will be open down basically. And here we, uh, we are seeing that it is in this location, right? See Hugo few steps. So which is this location, right? And right now it is empty. There is nothing. Now we need to create website in this folder, right? So to create the website, we can type the command Hugo then new this will be website right so we have to type site this location i mean this folder location because we are already in this folder and let's jump to that documentation at the uh, end it is showing that we have to type dash format oiml right so we can type it here dash format oiml and then we have to hit enter key of our keyboard and here we'll see that it is giving this type of message and here some files and folders has been created and if we go to this location we'll see it is full of files which is actually helpful for creating the hugo site so the site is already created okay now let's jump here read a little bit here so this is the command we type right and congratulations your new hugo site was created in this location okay we checked already right so here it it is created and this is a few stress folder inside it okay now uh, just a few more steps so change the current directory to this okay so we are already in this current directory right see you go few steps right see you few steps create and uh, install a theme so it is asking to create a theme right create a theme with the command hugo new theme we can type this command and we can create or install a theme from hugo website right so now we need to install it so now let's jump to the documentation wikipedia page so this step is done right and here it is showing older versions of hugo may not support this thing we don't need it because we are using the latest version of hugo and installing and updating paper mode so now it's time to download or uh, install that theme themes inside this folder right so themes folder inside the uh, few to dispose it there is a folder it's called themes so our theme should be located in this folder right so now let's see what is the next step paper mode will be installed in this theme so themes paper mode so the folder name should be paper mode right and finally set the theme as this thing so now let's download the theme we can download the theme different ways like git clone or git sub module download and unzip and Hugo module I'm going to choose this method this is easier download and unzip okay and there are these are the direct link we can click here or we can go to the github link so which we created uh, access basically before so from here uh, this is the main theme link right so from here code click here and then you'll find download zip just click here and the theme will be downloaded shortly so see here is very small file right uh 269 kilobyte less than one mega right so now let's go to the download folder so i'm going to open a new tab here basically and i'm going to access downloads and here i'm seeing the hugo theme is there we need to extract this thing first so right click uh, okay so let's do one thing let's copy this thing first copy so here is a copy right copy or Control c and then come back here and under theme just right click and paste it or control v it will be paste now we need to uncompress this thing to uncompress this thing if we are using windows 11 you don't need any software just right click on top of the compressed file and here you will find another option is there which is called extract all just click here and it will be extracted in this location few steps themes see here themes this this location basically it will be extracted then click extract and it will create a folder over there and it will be extracted over there we can close this window because it opened a new window okay so here is the main theme right so what we need to do uh, it is actually creating another folder inside it so i'm going to cut this thing cut and i'm going to put it here on the root folder right so control 
V. So it will be paste over there. So it has so many files there. So it is taking some time, but don't worry, it will be finished shortly. So this is the actual folder, right? Theme folder, right? So now we can remove this thing. I'm going to remove it and I'm going to re rename this thing. So how we can rename? So here it is showing. So we need to rename like this mo paper mode, right? So just go there. I mean this folder and then the middle part will be the folder name, right? We are going to rename and I'm going to remove the last part, which is master and there's a dash. And be before paper, I need to remove all things all together and then we can hit enter key and then we'll see paper mode theme is there okay now if we come here if we refresh we'll see that under themes there is paper mode and all the theme related information is there so i'm going to minimize this thing uh, because we don't need it anymore now now let's jump to the documentation here it is showing finally set theme as paper mode in your config folder so we just need to add this thing in the config.yml file so i'm going to copy this thing config.yml file so here what is the config file so you don't have any config file don't worry so i am going to use hugo this file right so this thing i know uh, i'm going to minimize or decreasing the size of this window and here basically we need to type that thing theme paper mode like this way okay and this is square bracket we don't need we can remove it we don't need that thing basically and finally we can save it so now uh, we already installed our theme and here we configured the theme now it's time to run the website and check whether it is running properly or not so uh, here i don't have any content uh, but still i'm going to run uh, to check how it is working or how it is behaving so to run this thing at first we need to like compile like thing so we have to compile like hugo server so we are uh, compiling and running the server so that we can actually access this site from the url so once we type hugo server then we have to hit enter key of our keyboard and it, sh it will show us this type of thing like uh, these are the files it created pages it pages something like that and some other things like and we can access by using this url right so i'm going to copy this url Control c okay and then i'm going to open the browser and then going to open new tab and here i'm going to paste it and then i'm going to hit enter key so here it is showing that the site theme, uh, theme is working properly right now there is no content that says empty but if we click here we'll see it's changing right the theme color is changing like dark theme or dark theme something like that okay and here it is showing that my new hugo site and barber hugo temple something like that okay and here uh, the theme which you are using basically is the paper mode theme paper mode theme right this theme we configure like this that way so let's do one thing let's create a file and check whether it is working properly or not so file means a web page so inside this content we can create a uh, content uh, which is the markdown file so how can you do this thing so here if we come to this documentation we can see uh, you may go through this website source code paper mode example site source if we click here it will bring uh, this is the example site and inside this example site there is a couple of posts something like that we can copy uh, these files and you can put it and you can check whether it is working properly or not okay so this thing so uh, let's do one thing let's create a file right how we can uh, actually create a web page or something like that in hugo so we can go to the hugo website this is the official website of hugo and then if we click quick start it will go to the documentation page right so here if we scroll down uh, here it is actually uh, by this command we are we can see the version of the uh, hugo which is running and then uh, hugo new site which already created and then git module echo theme this thing this thing we also installed and finally we are running the server right using hugo as the server command now uh, to create a new page right create a, a directory structure for your project quick start directory hugo new site quick start and then it is going to this thing basically we don't need this uh, we need to create a content so to create a content we have to come this this portion add content content and this is the command 
you go new content and then the content name and the file name should be md5 okay now uh, the thing is that Google created the file this location right so if you put the path it will create in that location so I'm going to do one thing I'm going to create a new content which will be Hugo new content this thing will be there Hugo new content and the content name right and content is the uh, folder name where the content should be there right so I'm going to copy this portion and I'm going to cancel this thing control C because if we are running the server we cannot do this thing and we're going to paste it and then space and here what it is doing here it is doing uh, content post this is thing right so I'm going to type it post like this uh, suppose the file name is like first dot md5 okay then hit enter key and here it is showing the content this this created okay and if we refresh our uh, this side we'll see that first.md has been created like that okay and here it is showing like uh, this way basically it is doing the markdown we can change it so we can make it dash 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 three dash and down three dash I'm not going to tell you details but uh, this is basically IML file format type of thing I'm doing okay so here instead of this thing I'm going to select it control find and it will open this thing and I'm going to replace it with a colon and then we have to hit uh, this button so that it will replace everywhere so now like that and we can close it thing okay now let's type something uh, this is my fast pace for example we just created this thing basically now I've saved it and then rerun that uh, command he go server to run the server and then it will be running on the server and here it is showing uh, this can be accessed through this URL so I'm going to uh, access that thing so this is the thing right so I, if I refresh so by default I will not able to see the content right so the content is name is what is the name of the content first right so here we just need to type slash fast and we'll see why it is not showing FIRST fast so if we refresh our page it's not showing uh, the content so why it is not showing so let's check so here there is a line draft equal true draft true means uh, this content will not be visible in the post basically in the live website okay so we need to change it to false and then we need to save it once we save it and if we go to the browser if we refresh then it's, an, it's still not coming so here I need to type fast and here it is coming right so this is the first page first and this is my first page so whatever we wrote over there it is showing like this way and it is showing the date and this is the title of this site and if we change this thing if you want to change the color we can also do this thing so in this way basically we created uh, this post and that's it guys in this way we can easily uh, install a Hugo site and then after that we can install a theme and also after that we can create a post and finally we can publish it uh, by typing the command Hugo server so that it will be running on the server and here this is the output whatever we did till now so that's it guys uh, hopefully by watching this video you will be able to uh, install Hugo site uh, download a Hugo theme and install that Hugo theme with your existing site. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you have any question or problem, uh, please put it in the comment section. Thank you again for watching the video.